Welcome back guys, continuing on with this Chromosome Evil playthrough, and the screen has gone red. This looks like it might be because of this aggro is at full. So let's see if we reduce the aggro, it will go down. If the, um, the red will go down, I mean. So it's 28 food, and it leaves us with 6. So that means I'm still not going to be able to save the game and do both of these. Oof, nervous, nervous. Well, let's, uh, let's do it. It only reduced it by 1. That's not great. So I'm going to do it again. It's only reduced it by one again. Sometimes it does reduce it by two. Now, I do want to raid the police station, mainly for these weapon components. I'm not too bothered about the research and development stuff. Although it is nice. Yeah, let, let's do the police station and then save game, I reckon. Right, what have we got here? He needs five. He needs four. He needs four. Okay. I haven't quite got enough for the workshop, unfortunately. Right, okay. If we take the large rusty door, we're going to increase the aggro. That's a shame, I could have done that when it was at full. But, let's walk amongst the dead and get some bad morale. That's unfortunate. Let's do this first, because this hasn't got a, a window in it. took a bit more of a beating than I expected. Right, that just restored satellite coverage. Not great. I was hoping it would uh, give me some AP back. Looking like it's uh, pretty hairy. 
what is this defense? Is it worth it? No, it's not worth it, not with them coming in. Let's get out of here. It's only a, a few defense components. Not the end of the world if I miss out on them. Right, so I can either save game or do one of these apartments. Now, if I was playing on hard mode, I wouldn't have the auto save to fall back on. So I'm going to assume I am playing on hard mode and do the, uh, the saving myself. Just to get me in the habit of uh, playing the playing properly. Right, before I do that, let's have a look, see if I can buy anything. Okay, research. No, that's unfortunate. Right, okay. Right, so because my my main guy, my soldier, has not got a pistol, he's not going to be able to reach the barrels that we need to shoot. I'm going to see if I can switch out this katana without... No, you can't. So you can't just switch them back again for free. Oh, gross. Okay, right, no big deal. Just means that we're going to have to do it with uh, the scientist. Right, let's do it. Okay, so on this mission, to prevent the enemy from evolving into stronger monsters, you've got to kill boss. Now, it's not exactly obvious how you do this, so I will demonstrate. First of all, you need to destroy two explosive barrels. Uh, when he's next to them. And then you need to put in a few more extra shots as well because uh, just destroying the explosive barrels isn't quite enough damage to finish them off so here are the explosive barrels you have to wait for them to appear over here I might just get both of these up here actually. I don't know if his attack does damage um, AoE and hits both of them or if it'll just hit one so it's a bit of an experiment. But this is why it would have been better using a soldier because he's got armour. The tentacles don't pierce the armour so we would have been able to do this without taking any damage. But, it is what it is. So it's a bit annoying this mission is, because you have to keep waiting for him to appear over here. And sometimes it can take a very long time. And you've got to wait for him to appear over here more than twice. So I don't know whether it's three times, or four times, or five times, I can't remember. But I know it's more than twice. And he is not appearing over here. 
That's annoying. Well, for some reason, the scientist did not shoot this barrel. Which is rather annoying, because I told him to. So we've put quite a bit of damage on him anyway. I reckon maybe just destroying this second barrel might be enough to finish him off. So yeah, you need to destroy both barrels. Uh, the annoying thing is, is when the worms come in. I don't really want to be wasting my ammo on these worms, so I'll just retreat back inside and uh, let the soldier take them out. Uh, there's some more worms coming here. It's annoying. Hopefully I'll be able to shoot the barrel this time rather than just the monster. This might have been over already if I'd have managed to shoot the barrel. I think the shotgunner might be able to kill these through this gap here. Without me needing to... Uh, Yeah, without me needing to retreat, so that's good. Come on now, where are you? Uh, more worms coming. That's really annoying. And he's not appearing over here either. Right then. Gonna have to delay a little bit longer. So if you investigate this panel here, it shows you how much health the enemy's got in the bottom left hand corner. But it also means that the worms can come in through this door. So uh, I don't think it's necessary to open that panel to be able to kill him. So I'm, this is a bit of a test because the two times that I've done it, I've opened the panel to actually see how much health he's got. So I'm just doing a test to see if we can do it without opening the panel or to see if the panel's necessary. Unfortunately, not appeared again. I wish you could reload. You can't though. You should be able to reload when you've got a half empty magazine. Because that's going to be annoying when he appears. So I'm going to reload halfway through. Gonna have to wait for these worms to come. Yeah, this is a, a, probably the most annoying mission just down to the fact that it's luck based where he appears it's definitely not the hardest mission but it's the most annoying
Right, come on now, appear please. Oh, he's appeared down there, and he's letting worms out. Or maybe not. And now he's appearing up there. Come on! This is just annoying. Right, thank you. When it says thank you down there, yes, I can't believe it. We've done it. We have done it. Now we're safe to open all these doors. So there you go. You don't need to open this panel to be able to, to kill him, which I wasn't 100% sure on. Right, so we're and now that he's killed, you can leave up here, so you don't have to leave through this trap door. I'm not sure if interacting with this actually gives you any bonus um, XP. So I, even though it's, there's no reason to interact with this panel anymore, uh, I'm going to do it just to see if I get the XP. Unfortunately, I wasn't paying attention, <laughs> so I didn't see if he got any XP. But I'm going to assume he did, and then I'm going to try again with this. Like I say, this is completely um, pointless doing this, other than you might possibly get some XP out of it. Which they did. It was only two, but two each, so they got six XP in total. So it's probably worth doing. So there you go, that's how you uh, complete this mission without losing, uh, losing stats to the uh, enemy evolution. You also get a reduced, even though it says penalty to aggro. You actually get a, a negative to the aggro. Um, I don't know whether this is wrong or, or what, I don't know. But yeah, you get bonus morale, you get less aggro, you get vaccine progress, you get research points, and you don't get the enemy evolution, so it's definitely worth doing. So it was on three before, and the aggro has now dropped down to two, so, so there you go. That is how you complete that mission. Hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching. Take care. I'll see you in the next one.